All right. Uh, back again with uh, part two of how to get out the friend zone slash how to be mysterious. So, when you remove yourself from the situation with this woman, as far as responding to her emotions, you now gain the power position in the relationship now. You are now becoming the universally attractive man, the alpha male, okay? You are now being becoming the dominant party in the relationship while she will have to become submissive. And, uh, like I said, number one, you have to be willing to let the relationship go. This gives you a huge amount of power and leverage in the relationship because in this situation because she's already, she's emotionally attached to you. Okay, just not in a way that she's attracted to you. She's emotionally attached to you like one of her girlfriends, you know. So that's really powerful. She doesn't want to lose her emotional attachment to you. However, and so uh, what she'll do, she'll come back and she'll do what's necessary to try to maintain that. So you removing yourself from the situation now makes you the dominant party and she becomes submissive because she'll end up, what, what, what happens next? You don't call her. Next time she calls you, don't call her back. She'll think, well, you know, what, what's wrong, you know. She'll call again, don't call her back. Now you guys are good friends. You've been there for her, so she's emotionally attached to you because you've been responding to her emotions the whole time like a, like a girlfriend. She'll call you again, then you finally call back. Right? Just letting her know, uh, my time is valuable. I'm a man of value. You need to respect me. Simple as that. Okay, I'm not going to be there at your every whim. I'm not, and, and another thing. Okay, number two. You have to make yourself scarce. You have to remove yourself from her you know, using you as, as her pillow every night, right? And women, for some reason, and women call nice guys, they, they say nice guys are smothering. You know, nice guys are needy and dependent, you know, emotionally. And what that simply means is that nice guys respond to a woman's emotions rather than stimulate, thereby becoming submissive rather than dominant. So... You do stuff like don't call her back when she calls you. Eventually, you know, I mean, she calls you enough to call her back. You know, you want to pull yourself away from a relationship just enough for her to want to pull back up to it, not destroy the whole thing. You want her to begin to start chasing you. So next time you guys talk, you know, you have to let her know you're not, there's no more talking about emotions anymore. You don't want to hear nothing about her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriends. You know, how she was hurt and all that kind of stuff. Because you'll be responding to her emotions. Well, everything now that you're talking that you talk about, you are now talking as a man of authority. You are not a dominant party. Any, any other conversations you guys have. Right? Because you're the man she needs to be attracted to. So what do men that are, that are attracted to women talk to women about? This is how you need to be, this is how you need to start uh, uh, treating this girl if you want to get out of the friend zone. Okay? So there's no more of this emotional, you know, play tag stuff. Remove yourself from a relationship from, from that position. Become, make yourself scarce. And, um, and she'll start chasing you. And that's what I told my man, uh, my, my friend down in, uh, down, uh, down south. And, uh, interestingly, he said that there were a bunch of women that were chasing him. But for some reason, he couldn't get this particular girl to like him. He really was into her. And uh, the only thing he did differently is he all of a sudden became the nice guy. So trust me. She's going to become interested. She's going to want to know all of a sudden, why are you treating her like this? Okay? And this is what these women are attracted to. You know, They're attracted to an air of, of mystery, an aura of uh, uh, edginess. I have no idea why, but, you know, women say that they love stuff that's mysterious. They say everybody does, but, you know, these women do for some reason. So there's this whole other side to you now that she never knew was there. And now she wants to explore, okay? So, um, and one of the things that you want to begin to do, do is stop focusing on her, okay? What you begin to do is focus on yourself. By removing yourself, making yourself scarce from that relationship, and focusing on getting better as a man. All the stuff I explained in the, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, other videos about you learning about you know, leadership skills, about you 
uh, learning about becoming a renaissance man, about you taking care of your own health, getting in shape, uh, practicing your skills with other women, like going to the mall and just smiling at beautiful women, or just going and striking up a conversation, say, hi, how you doing? You know, uh, uh, these types of things are going to help you to b build your confidence, and you're going to be doing all of this while you're not paying so much attention to the friend, quote, friend, that you're interested in. So you'll be, you'll be changing uh, as, a, as a whole. You'll be changing and you'll be becoming a better man altogether while at the same time creating this level of attraction with this woman. So she's going to begin to start seeing these changes, this whole other side of you she never saw before. Okay? And like I said, well, women love mystery, you know, for some reason. So that brings me to my next point. Nice guys need to stop talking so much. You guys talk, you guys think that if you tell a woman everything about yourself, she, that's going to make her more interested. It's actually the opposite. Okay? Here's the situation that you should have with any of these, any of your woman, women friends or anything like this. They, you sh they should know the, as the least amount about you as possible. And you should know the most about them as possible. When you guys sit down and have a conversation, all the, and women love to talk. Okay, you just edge the conversation on. She'll start talking about something and you just say, uh huh. You know, you just kind of guide the conversation to learn more about her. Learn more about her hobbies. You know, so yeah, what, what makes you happy in life? You know, what are you interested in? Where do you see yourself in five years? Stuff like that. And she'll begin to reveal more and more about herself. You know, what, what do you think about, uh, uh, you know, Barack Obama's health care plan or something like that. You can find out whether she's into politics or not, whether she's, whether she's a worldly cultured individual, whether she's just, a, a, you know, just a, an idiot. Okay? You start gathering intel, just like spies or something like that. Right? Not in, in an interrogation manner, but just, you know, gently gathering information, more and more information, so you can use this stuff later on, rather than her gaining, in, gathering information on you, because you're telling her everything about yourself. So it's the opposite. In order to create attraction, you have to remove yourself from the situation, become scarce to her, become a little more mysterious, and start gathering information on her. Right? And if you're a friend, you should know everything about her anyway already. Okay? So this will give you, you know, you, sh you should already know this stuff. If not, then, you know, you need to start, uh, you need to up, step it up, switch the situation and figure this stuff out. I mean, um, uh, begin to get, gain information on her. I'm going through this stuff real fast because I'm uh, trying to get it done. So, um, so yeah, you want to know as much about her as possible while her knowing the least amount about you as possible. And this goes for all females that you attract, that you want to create this type of attraction with. And they will begin to chase you. Those, the less women, these, these extremely love most of women, they want what they can't have. Okay, and if you keep pulling back they'll keep running up for more. For some reason, that's just how it is. So anyway, that's my, uh, that's my little rant on how to get out of the friend zone. Um, hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. You guys can let me know, you know, how it goes. And there's other resources out here, you know, on YouTube and stuff like that to help you guys out. But uh, anyway, that's the gist of it, man. Y'all see me uh, for my other videos. Peace.